So hi guys, it's me again Otik and I'm back again for another video. So today I want to talk about the Vivo Y1S. So this is the phone. So if you bought this phone, the Vivo Y1S, this is what the phone can do. So watch my video. Thank you. So the game is set at default settings. So there's no love. Okay, I'm in game. Playable here. So I'm trying side loading the Asphalt 9 into this device but when you update it ayaw niya mag-update kasi walang Asphalt 9 sa Play Store not ano daw uh, see so Instead of the Asphalt 9, let's play the Asphalt uh, Rally. So try natin ito guys. Let's see if it can play. So there it is. So this is also set on medium default settings. So playable yung Asphalt Extreme. So this is the Asphalt Extreme played on the Vivo Y1S. The playable sa guys.
So now guys, I've connected my Bluetooth gamepad to the Vivo Y1S. So let's try to play this Tekken game using the PPS SPP emulator. So okay, connected na po. So, yung sound is there's a bit choppy pero okay yung gameplay uh, mabilis naman no lags no frame drops So, okay yung game. So, sino yung mga gusto ng mga PSP games? This is the emulator for you. So, now guys, I've connected my Bluetooth keyboard to the Vivo Y1S and the wireless mouse via micro USB dongle. So let's try to type documents. So we can type the quick brown fox and the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog <clears throat> so we can type we can also use the mouse but my problem is I cannot seem to disable the virtual keyboard so whenever I try to type again it pops out so that's the problem with the virtual keyboard and I can't disable it so that's it guys but the mouse works perfectly and the keyboard also works so now guys let's try to cast the screen from the vivo y 1s so sad to say there's no screen cast on the vivo y 1s let me show you no screencast so wala siyang screencast so in order to cast the screen since my uh, TV here is just the smart TV so we cannot connect the Vivo to the smart TV pero if you're TV is an Android TV you can cast the screen via for example YouTube then there's a small there small icon there you can click on that so it can cast on another Android TV so now cast la natin via MHL so cast natin, let's go to source, there, so it's the phone, it's the plug, so let's plug it on the phone, okay. 
there so hello start now so there so and cast na tayo via wire so you can watch your movies on the large screen via MHL wire. So when, now guys, I'm teaching you how to connect the Vivo Y1S to a Android TV. Kasi kanina, smart lang yun, smart TV. So it cannot, the Vivo cannot connect to the smart TV. But now, Android TV, let's try to connect it. So, yung sinabi ko na i-click yung icon na cast. So click it here. So choose the TV to cast. So try nothing. It works. So there. It works. See? Connected to the TV. So you can watch on the big screen. So now guys, let's try to print a picture using our Vivo Y1S. So print. Let's choose a file. Choose that. So next. So, print on plain paper, done, so print, so it's printing guys, so people are asking me if I can connect the printer not using the Wi-Fi, if they can still print, so the answer is yes, you can still print your pictures or documents via cable that's the picture So guys, you've watched my video. So, what's my verdict with the Vivo Y1S? So, sa Vivo Y1S, if limited yung budget mo, then okay lang yung games for like Mobile Legends and uh, Call of Duty. So, this phone can play your games. It can also do social media 
it can also uh, if you're into movies it can also play movies so swak na swak talaga sa budget sa Vivo Y1S the only uh, downside is you cannot uh, cast the screen wirelessly it has to be wired so yun lang so yun that's my uh, verdict for the Vivo Y1S so please guys don't forget to subscribe and like my video thank you for watching